I want to show you something that's very special to me. This stays in my office. It's a, it's a stained glass lamp. And it was made for me by a dear friend named Robert, who's been in heaven for a couple of years now. But on one side of the lamp, as you can see, is, is a lamb. And it's supposed to remind us, of course, of Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. On another side of the lamp is a fish, which is a, a symbol for, for Christians, for Christianity. The letters in the middle are the Greek word ichthys, which is the word for fish, which was, uh, which was a way early Christians used to identify each other. The, uh, the different letters stood for a phrase. It said, Jesus Christ, God's Son, Savior. On another side of the lamp is a dove, which of course reminds us of the Holy Spirit, as the Holy Spirit is depicted as a dove at Jesus, at Jesus' baptism. Um, and uh, the last one is of a person praying, a regular reminder that we have a Heavenly Father who is listening and he's praying. And, and I love this lamp. It's a, you know, it's, it's a piece of art. It's very meaningful to me. It's, it truly is one of a kind. Even if you wanted to make one that was somewhat similar, it wouldn't be identical because each, each piece of art is its own thing. And I'm telling you that today because of somebody whose name comes up in the book of Exodus as they are describing the tabernacle and what they were doing to, to create it, it's a man named Bezalel. Bezalel was also an artist. He was an artist gifted by God to be able to carry out incredibly great artistic creative work. He's the one who's responsible for creating the Ark of the Covenant along with many other things that they used inside the tabernacle. A very gifted man and the Bible um, the Bible wants to make sure that we know that his gifts were there from God and, and it does, it tells us that. But um, there's a meaning behind the word Bezalel. Do you know what the word Bezalel means? It means in the shadow of God. In the shadow of God. And what a cool name. If you are literally standing close enough to someone that they are, that their shadow is covering you, it means, of course, that they're not very far away. And what a cool reminder that Bezalel was able to live with every day. Just by recalling his name, he would recall the truth that, that God was never far away from him. But you don't need to be named Bezalel to carry that truth in your hearts. It's, of course, the reason the Lamb of God was slain. To give you the assurance that, that your God is never far away from you. That you are also in his shadow, in a sense. He's never far away. And the God that you're never far away from is also an artist. He's a creator because he made you the one of a kind individual that you are. He made you unique. And I think I've said this before, but he made you unique and different compared to anyone else who has ever lived in the world so that he could love you uniquely and individually. One of my favorite passages as it talks about God being our creator is in the book of Acts where it says that he himself gave all people life and breath and one other thing, firstly, he gave you life. He knew what your life needed before you did. And he made sure that you would have it. He gave you breath, your daily breath, your daily inhales and exhales, and your ability to do that without you even needing to think about it. He knew how to do that. And he did it without you even asking for it. But he himself gives all people life and breath and you know what the last thing is? Everything else. He himself gives all people life and breath and everything else. Maybe you feel like something's missing today. Maybe you feel alone because someone is missing. Don't let that cause you to lose sight of the truth that you are also in the shadow of a God who not only knows how to give you life and breath and everything else, but he promises to. Rest well tonight, my friends. Your God is not far away.